Hey guys, it's Ego Horak here, and welcome to Career Mode episode 20. Um, and we are drawing to the end of the season. And, uh, you know, we only have a few games left in the Premier League. I think around six, five or six. We have a game up against Aston Villa at home. And, I, you know, I was pretty confident um, going into this. So I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'll just sim the game. I didn't really see any troubles in simming it since I wasn't really bothered. I hope you guys don't mind too much. And um, as you can see, they get a yellow card there in the... Uh, some 20th minute and Bono managed us to put us up 1-0 and I was feeling confident but somehow Benteke managed to make it 1-1 as uh, Kag was brought off for Paul goals there and um, you know it just seems that we weren't really able to do anything and that, that is actually uh, and disappointingly how the game ends 1-1 it's not the end of the world to tie 1-1 with Aston Villa but uh, it's at home and you know I was expecting a win so I guess I was a little bit disappointed but uh, it was still all right. Uh, I go ahead into the, 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 the Premier League standings here. Uh, I just want to see the league table. And there you guys can see we're tied on points with City with equal amount of games. But we are first due to goal difference, which is very good. So um, that's always nice to see. And now we have a very, well, actually a not important Champions League game up against Chelsea since we beat them 4-0 in the first round of the semi-finals so you know what I'll sim this game because it really didn't make a difference and we tied 1-1 Hernandez and Lampard on the score sheet which put us into the Champions League finals and that is pretty sick but now I get the scout report I just go through anybody that doesn't have over 90 that hasn't had potential to go over 90 uh, and this keeper actually looked very promising but uh you know so I but this guy looked amazing so I signed him and uh, I didn't sign the keeper yet, but uh, I, I think uh, I might sign him in the next thing. Because, you know, if they're not really amazing, then they never become amazing. Because they do have quite low overalls in the beginning. So I don't see really the point in it. Um, but, um, yeah, I did that just to see. I th figured I'd show you guys what, what I was, you know, taking. What kind of shenanigans was going on. And also tournament prize money. I got $2.5 million uh, there for the... Champions League, which was quite down, and then I got this message from Wooten thanking me for playing in the uh, a few episodes ago. He came to me saying that he's not getting enough playing time, and that worried him. But now he said thank you for playing, so uh, that's that's nice to see. But next up, we have a very important game up against Arsenal, uh, the Gunners. We have it at the Emirates, so we're playing away in our away kit. Um, and uh, you know this was a this was a must win game because we're tied on points with City, which basically means that uh, we have to win every game. Or not, we don't have we don't have to win every game, but it would be really good that we won every game, you know, because um, uh, because that way obviously we we would have secured our Premier League title since we're ahead on goal difference, and um, uh, obviously the the Emirates actually looks really good in this game. I I like the way it looks, and uh, in real life as well, I guess it's alright. Um, but uh, this game wasn't exactly the most exciting, but uh, it had a few. Uh, Arsenal had a few chances, and in the thirty-third minute, Podolski kind of gets through on there, and uh, just manages to slot it wide. Um, De Gea coming out well, blocking space. So um, you know, Podolski did the best he can do there, and and um, you know, we have to jump in pretty far as we go into the 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 forty fifth the forty fifth minute. As uh, I get a chance here from Percy somehow. Gets the ball. The ball falls to Rooney, who just runs and gets a good shot away. Keeper saves, and Valencia gets the header, but uh, it goes over the bar. Um, but somehow I get a corner from that. Don't ask me how. And Nani whips it in. Fellaini gets a hit on it, but uh, it's basically cleared from the goal line. A little bit disappointing there, but it was basically my only chance of the first half. And we have to go all the way down in the 70th minute to get the opening goal. It's like Bona is on the run, finds Van Persie. And Van Persie just fights his way to get the ball and finishes it into the bottom corner. I guess you could say that was a little bit lucky. But, uh, you know, everyone needs that. Even good teams need that. So, uh, with a nice little Balotelli celebration there. You know, I just love Van Persie. He's he's top goal scorer. And uh, he, he's just such a good player, you know, on all levels. And he, he's so strong that, that, you know, it's so hard to get him off the ball. And that made it put us 1-0 up and put us in a quite comfortable position. I figured I might be able to hold the game out since nothing had really happened. But we're in around 80 minutes and Nene gets the ball, who they've apparently bought. And uh, Richards was there trying to defend, but he just whips in a cross. And somehow, Theo Walcott manages to get ahead on that cross. Uh, sorry, I didn't show replays. I was just really pissed, but I was, in fact, Walcott. 
and somehow he manages to score that to make it 1-1, which was really disappointing. They brought on Gervinho for under Santos. I don't know what the hell. So they put on more attacking prowess. And now in the 90th minute, they're on the attack. I was like, ah, oh, just let me get a point from this game then. You know, I don't want to lose. Uh, but uh, Kagawa gets the ball in the middle and he sees Valencia, who just abuses the pace on the counter-attack. He's in tons of space. Can he finish this game in the 90th minute? Boom. Yes, he can. What an absolutely amazing finish from Antonio Valencia there to make the game 2-1 in the last minute. Of the game, Kagawa finds him and he just pace abuses him. Boom, what a finish that as well. Nothing Roger Chesney or, yeah, I don't know his first name, so I'm just gonna go with Chesney. Nothing Chesney could do about that. And obviously, I go straight ahead into team management just to waste as much time as possible. I take off Nani and uh, put on Munyain and uh, put on Carrick as well for Kagawa and uh, move Fellaini into that camp position, but none of this really makes any difference. I just want to waste time as we're all in, already in the late 90th minute as it, the referee only gave two minutes of extra time. Um, Kegwa looks really bad in this game, by the way. I just wanted to point that out. I hope in FIFA 14, they'll have like a proper face to him because he just looks like an ugly, ugly son of a bitch. But um, anyway, that's it. Uh, for the game, we won 2 1, a very important win. Last minute goal there from Antonio Valencia uh, to put us up and um, steal an important victory for us, you know. And next up, we have Chelsea in the Premier League. I think this is the third time we play them inside like, what, three weeks or two weeks in game? So that's like three games out of five games I think I played them, which is quite sick. Um, so we had them, no, no, oh, four times because we had them in the FA Cup semi finals where we beat them. Then we had them twice in the Champions League, uh, where we beat them the first time and tied one time. But we went through to the finals, and now we have them now in the Premier League. And this was an even more important game than the Arsenal game, because as you guys can see, City have apparently played two games, and we're still tied on points and better goal difference. So basically, we have two games in hand, and we're equal on points. So if we win this, you know, we'll go ahead. And Chelsea are obviously second in the league there with the same amount of games as us, but less points. Um... As Jeff from the beginning here, Richard is just using that strength to whip the ball in. Um, it goes outside, but Kagawa manages to give the ball to Nani. He takes a great touch into the middle, and what a finish that was uh, to make it 1-0 in the third minute. An absolutely fabulous start to the game after some great play, first by Richards to get the ball into the box, and then Kagawa manages to keep the ball in play there, and uh, Nani obviously somehow... Absolutely amazingly manages to keep the ball in play and uh, and uh, you know give us the goal and I thought I was gonna go on another rampage here as I had done against Chelsea two times in a row but no as the ball falls to Tor Torres and Fernando Torres somehow out of all the players very unrealistically though manages to put the ball into the back of the net in the seventh minute and um, you know it seemed like this game would be a little bit more tight but this was in fact again goals galore this whole game. As ball falls to Nani, who just takes a great shot to make it his second goal of the game. In the 22nd minute already, three goals have been done. And with a nice little Samba celebration there. And uh, Nani really on fire in this game. You know, every time he got the ball, he was looking very dangerous. And Chelsea just weren't able to handle him, you know, like they were supposed to. And 35 minutes in, ball falls to Rooney. Takes a great touch. And what a finish. That was absolutely fabulous shot from Wayne Rooney. And uh, Petr Cech had nothing he could do about that. So uh, that put us up 3-1 um, uh, in the, uh, just in the 35th minute. And um, a nice two-goal cushion there um, before halftime. So we wouldn't have to worry that much. And that's how we went into halftime. Four goals split. 3-1 for me in the first 45 minutes, which is quite nice. That's one goal per around 10 minutes, which is still obviously some nice stuff there. And uh, and you know that 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 was it was looking all fine and dandy, but we're into the 80th minute already. The second half wasn't nearly as interesting as the first half, and uh, Mirelish finds Sturridge, and I don't know what Nani's obviously not a defensive player. I don't know where Evra was, but uh, Sturridge manages to get a foot on that, and uh, that puts us down. I mean, that's kind of oh God puts us down. That just makes the lead three two, and they're only one goal away. I was a little stressing, but you know. They hadn't really done anything, so I wasn't worrying too much about that at all. Uh, but uh, they do come at me, however. I um, I just want to I keep the ball kind of, but you know they they're just it seems like the momentum was for them, and you know will the scripting come in? 
I don't know. Well, let's wait and see. Wait, never mind. No, not yet. De Gea pulls off an amazing save to keep the scripting out of the game. And uh, they get a corner. Tons of players up there. My players are defending. What do they do? The ball falls into Weiman. And he just somehow manages to put the ball in in the 87th minute. And I was so frustrated. <coughs> scripting. <coughs> Uh, no, I'm just kidding, but uh, this was really annoying kind of to to not manage to get the win here as I was two goals up in the 80th minute and somehow they still managed to come back and make it 3-3, oh, which was a little frustrating with Nani getting man of the match there um, with a 9.4 rating, but uh, you know, it's not a disaster. Uh, Chelsea are still that good a team, but uh, that will draw us to the end of this episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, a like is always so much appreciated. It really motivates me. Also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Well, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe not to miss an episode. I really hope you guys are enjoying this career mode. If you are, or if you're not, then please leave a comment about what you would like to see, guys. Uh, what kind of improvements? What 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 would you like me to show? What would you not like me to show? You know all that kind of shenanigans. Please leave a comment about that. Anyways, Miss Psycho Horror here. Please like this video if you enjoyed, and uh, I'm signing out, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.